Hello everybody out there on the internet, I'm the Toaster. Welcome to a reaction of Vin J, Mumble Rapper vs Lyricist. Now I've been sent this from a friend who watched the first NF Mansion video where I mentioned I don't know the difference between oh, Mumble Rap and stuff. And he sent me this just to like get me like I guess into the loop about the drama of it all I suppose. Um, I have heard a little bit of mumble rap by Chief Keith, XXX Tentacion, but it's only for the bass in the car, really. I don't really vibe to it otherwise. Um, in Lyricist, I know a bit. I'm really new to the rap scene. Um, recently done NF, first time on this channel. Otherwise, I've listened to very few Eminem songs, maybe one or two Drake songs. It's very limited about what I've actually listened to. So I'm going to listen to this, react to it for you guys. And we'll see how I go. Um, one thing I'm going to try and do every video is I'm going to try and mention. I will put the original video down in the description. So please subscribe, like, and watch the original if you are watching this and haven't seen it yet. Any support you can give to anybody else, do that before you react to me. Because they made the art. I'm just sitting here digesting it and giving my thoughts, okay? Thank you. Otherwise... Let's get straight into it. Vinjay, Mumble Rapper versus Lyricist. I think it's an official video. I don't think there's any other videos of it, though. No. Let's kick it. Know that I'm running the game, yeah. Purple is all in my veins, yeah. Copping a couple of chains, whoa. Throw it, I'm making it rain, yo. How come everybody in the game wanna rap like you with the played out flow? I've been in the back, killing every damn track, and the rhymes all whack, how the fuck y'all blow? Well, instantly there's a difference between them. Presume this guy screens now to mumble rapper because he's got the chain, the hoodie hat combo. I don't know if that's anything to do with mumble rap, but he's got like that arrogance to him that I guess mumble rappers have. He's like, I've got money, got chain, purple in my veins. Is that lean? I'm gonna say that's reference to lean. And then the lyricist, straight fire. Yeah, copping a couple of chains, whoa. Play that I'm making it rain. Yo, how come everybody in the game Well, this shit is all that I know. Uh, rapping about bitches and clothes. Yeah, getting unlimited hoes. Whoa, all of my diamonds are Now you rap with venom and then you pack the rhythm and every track will hit him and you blow. But you whack a little bit, don't stack the syllables, you have to hit him with new flows. That's true. You can't just keep giving the same stuff. I'm not against mumble rap. Because I haven't heard enough to be a critique of it yet. But if you're releasing music with the same flows, same everything, same beats even some of them do, you're not going to get far. You can't keep doing that. Um, personally, Vinjay's mumble rap style, I'm bumping to. I love the bass. I'm a very big fan of bass. But I can tell the difference. And there's definitely a skill level that the lyricist has that's better than a mumble rapper in this. The rhythm in every track will hit him and you blow. But you whack a little bit, don't stack the syllables, you have to hit him with new flows. Like, nah, homie, I'm in it for cash. Just exactly. Me your bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money. Tell him I whip in the jack and I'll be popping in packs. Like, nah, everybody rap like that. Everybody wanna make a track like that. Everybody else in the game send a goddamn same and you all kill a rap like that. Like, where the word play in the metaphors at? Word what play. y'all make? I can never call rap. Big L, big pawn, I'ma get them all back and you. Wordplay is definitely why I like rap the way I do now. NF, for example, I'm sorry for bringing him up all the time, but it's the first rapper I've listened to on this channel. The wordplay, the metaphors, the everything connecting, it's all so skillful. And you have to put that in to make an intriguing song. You can't just make a song about cash, women, drugs. If you can do it, at least put effort into it and make it fun unique now we named some rappers there i think i want to go back because maybe i can add them to my list of people to react to because i don't think i've listened to any of them yeah everybody want to make a track like that everybody else in the game send a goddamn same when you all kill a rap like that like where the word play in the metaphors at what y'all make i can never call rap big l big pun I'm a big l big pun 
If these are people I should react to, let me know down below. I think I've heard of Big Pond's name before. That's about it. I don't know anything about him. But that's if that's something you want me to listen to, I'll listen to him. I think that's the attitude a lot of these mumble rappers have at the moment. Is it disrespectful to call them mumble rappers? Oh, for now, I'll just say new generation rappers, even though it's a mouthful, but I don't want to disrespect anyone without knowing, because I can't talk, I can't critique without knowing. Um, but he's right. As long as you've got the 808s bumping, people are going to listen, because I would listen. I love 808. It is so hard on the car, and I can't lie, when I hear 808s in a song, it makes me bounce, and that's what I listen to music for in the car. Like, in the car, I listen to a variety of stuff. I listen to rock, uh, country, older heavy metal, stuff like that. And I'm going to start listening to rap as well. Um, probably not too much, because I want to I want to share what I listen to with you guys. So I'm going to try and not spoil myself of anything good. <laughs> but 808s, bass... That's all good in a car when you're at night time cruising around just wanting to have fun. Otherwise, lyricism is the way to go, hands down. I cannot see how you can listen to mumble rap just for fun in the bed or some shit. And the attitude, I'm sure a lot of them have this attitude. It won't last as well. He says it's not going to last. I don't think it will. No disrespect to people who like or make new generation rap, hip hop, but it probably won't last. And it's not an insult on just your genre, it's true for any music, but I think it's especially true for this new generation of rap because it's simple, sure it goes hard, but there's only so much you can do before it gets stale, because everybody's making the same music. Lil Pump, Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Yachty. They all sound the same from what I've heard on the radio. I don't listen to the lyrics or anything, but they, the beats and stuff, they sound the same. Now, I will say, I do like Lil Uzi Vert. Um, that one really popular song he's got, I can't think of it now. I don't really care if you don't, I don't really show you never love. That one. Push me to the edge, all my friends are dead. I like that in the car. I don't listen to it anywhere else though. Like, it's not something you just listen to. It's something you put on in the car to vibe to. Discussion. Yeah, maybe right now, but it's not gonna last. Y'all better make room for the profits of rap when they hear real shit. No profits of rap. And they all gonna see y'all rhyming as whack. Y'all snakes, I'm chopping the grass. Gonna hit them with a bang. No stopping the crash. Y'all wanna make bets? I'm dropping the cash. I'm not gonna let y'all kill hip hop in his tracks. Y'all wanna make bets? I'm dropping the cash. <laughs> With a bang, no stopping the crash. I don't want to make bets. I'm dropping the cash. I'm not going to let y'all kill hip hop in his tracks. But we ain't even kill it. It's evolved. Fuck the ones who came before us. I'm going to show them how to ball. It's not evolution. Y'all better cool it. Fuck mumble rap. We need a better movement. More real shit and way less pollution. Stop making music. That's the best solution. Y'all think you dope, but that's just delusion. Say you will, but y'all don't ever prove it. I'm the leader of the fucking revolution. Go get prepared for y'all execution. Everybody. Smashed mirror. He's right to some degree. I don't think it's evolution. Evolution would be rock to heavy metal. Or heavy rock, I guess, because it's a different genre. This seems to me like an entirely different genre that shouldn't be in the same category as hip hop or rap. And if anything, it's de devolving, devolution, is that a thing? Devolution? I don't know. It's devolving though, I think. So, um, I've got respect for people who make it in the industry, because it's a hard industry, I'm sure. I bet labels scam the heck out of new wave rappers. 
but it's not evolution don't call it that it's not as good as the racism this camera is annoying me it's inverted and i've got the video here so you can't see my hands but i'll figure it out one day for now it's good you will, but y'all don't ever prove it. I'm the leader of the fucking revolution. It sounds like don't it's gonna go fast, yeah. execution. Everybody wanna talk about the money and the women that they begin it, but wanna kill them when they rap. Everybody wanna be the Mac of the game, but you rap in the same and I put them on the back. Everybody wanna be the best, that I wanna find the best rap. Follow me, I put them on the map. If you really wanna be the best in the game, stop rapping like everyone else on the track. That's good advice. Don't be like everybody else. If you wanna get far, you have to be unique. You can't just keep putting out shit that other people are putting out. It's lazy low effort and it's cheap and he said what do you say evolution go get me want to be the mac of the game but you everybody wants to be the mac of the game i might be thinking of this wrong but does he mean mac miller he's a rapper isn't he and i know he's pretty popular back in the day before he passed on someone like that but i guess if he is talking about mac miller um he must have been a big big deal back then so everybody wants to be the Mac, but you gotta be unique. Everybody wanna talk about the money and the women that they begin it, but wanna kill them when they rap. Everybody wanna be the Mac of the game, but you rap in the same and I put them on the back. Everybody wanna be the best, I wanna find the best rap. Follow me, I put them on the map. If you really wanna be the best in the game, stop rapping like everyone else on the track. Homie, that's all that they want. Loving the money, I flaunt. Yeah, yeah, keeping it short. Don't gotta give it a thought. Only the shit that I bought. That's also correct. And I think. There's valid arguments for both the mumble rap and lyricist in this. The lyricist is obviously winning, in my opinion. But the mumble rap is right about this is what they want. Because there's an audience for the new wave of rap, hip hop. I'm not going to call it rap, it's not rap, it's hip hop. There is a generation that likes it, and there is an audience for it. And they eat it up, and they bump it. And that's why this music is still being made. It's successful. If it works, they're not going to fix it. Well, not fix it. They're not going to change it. The algorithm, they're not going to do less for potentially flopping. That doesn't make sense. They don't want to do more work and potentially flop for being unique. But the thing is, if you're unique, you're more likely to make it and stand out and stay around because otherwise you're going to fade out like a lot of these new wave ones are i've heard so many stories like uh, who's one of them lil xan for example i know he's he was big for a while and where'd he go i don't hear anything about him anymore plus if you're wondering what i'm holding it's a plastic spider i don't like spiders i hate them i've got a big fear for them but I don't know, something about the spider I like, so I'm just gonna put him somewhere. Back to the video. Loving the money I flaunt, yeah, yeah. Keeping it short, don't gotta give it I a love thought. the beats. Only the shit that I bought. Fuck that, you gotta stay dippy. Y'all think it's happy, y'all straight tripping. I'm off the chain of my place, spinning y'all in the club with my paint dripping. I'm a fucking artist who's done with all this straight whack shit, so I'm busting on this. Y'all leaned out, but y'all suck regardless. I'm a run up on them, feeling fucking lawless. Y'all leaned out in self-regardless. And that's what they're doing. They're pumping themselves of drugs, taking lean, doing whatever else they're doing, Xanax. They're self-regardless. They don't care. They don't seem to care what happens to them. They have this five minutes of fame, maybe a bit more, one or two hits, and they let it get to their head and they start killing themselves with drugs. It happens all the time. It's always on the news. All this straight whack shit, so I'm busting on this. Y'all leaned out, but y'all suck regardless. I'm a run up on them, feeling fucking lawless. Better tuck your chain and fucking run your wallet. You are now looking at the youngest prophet who be killing rappers. Got no other option, yet it got green. But Is I'm he nodding to the green, so. Tell him whatever your man felt, say with the rhyme, so give me the black belt. Got flame and the vibes, I'm making a track melt going all in. Got flame with the vibes? Is that what he said? Flame with the something to make the track melt. He's nervous. That was sick. Hold up. I wanna get the lyrics to this because that flow was. I don't know if it was unique, but it was definitely 
something I haven't heard yet. I want to see if I can wrap it. I, I'm not a rapper, by the way, and sorry if this is cringe. You can skip if you like. I don't blame you, but I want to. So I want to see. Like Hogo, tell a bitch I flow so venomous. I boom hit him with a stone cold evidence. I flow so relevant and show no benefit. I low blow bring him with a popo. -po, never been. Like Hogo, tell a bitch I flow so venomous. Boom hit him with a stone cold evidence. I flow so relevant and show no benefit. Hello, blow, bring him where the po po never been. So, I flow so relevant. I think this has to do with the fact that mumble rappers, oh not mumble rappers, lyricists usually speak about issues that are current and it's all relevant. And then it says, with, uh, and show no benefit. I think what he's meaning here is how mumble rappers always have the chains, they show their drip, they show the cars, the women, while lyricists are more toned down. They don't care if you see their wealth. Some do, I'm sure, but he's not. Sh this lyricist in the video, for example, he's not wearing chains and diamonds. He's not showing his benefits from rapping. So I think that's what he means by that. Bomb, bomb, hit him with the stone cold evidence. A flow so relevant, it show no benefit. A low blow, bring him with a po po, never been. Mumble rapper, shut your fucking mouth. Fall back, don't make another sound. Tell him. Mumble rappers already shut their mouth, that's why they mumble. Low blow, bring them with a po po, never been. Mumble rappers, shut your fucking mouth. Fall back, don't make another sound. Telling me to fucking dumb it down, but I'm a buck em all, I got a hundred rounds like bleh. Dumb it down. Fuck it, I guess what I'm trying to say is that I miss the days when MCs were killing and blaze a track. When flows were different and everybody would say some facts. And I ain't saying I'm the best, just trying to save rap. I can see it. I can see him saving rap. I don't know if he's a big name or an actual like signed rapper or anything maybe he is he might just be one of these youtube rappers that people just knew either way he was amazing i loved it they even the mumble rap sections are really good for mumble rap i actually kind of enjoyed the beat and it wasn't mumble rappy like it had the mumble rap overtones but it was more lyricism than what a normal actual nowadays new wave rap Hip hopper would do. So I think Vinjay's too skilled because even his mumble rappers better than most of his actual mumble rappers. Good song, loved the beat. Everything was fire. On my on my scale, here being all I have, here being here being mansion. Vinjay, you probably here. Still pretty high. This is like baselines like on the floor, just far down. Like this was really solid. And I think that's a good way to bring up the drama that's happening between mumble rap and lyricism. Either way, perfect song. In that being said, if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed my reaction, consider subscribing because I want to churn out so much more content that you guys want. I have more NF coming and every once in a while, I think the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to do one or two NF songs a day and then one or two new artists a day for now. And then if I find another artist that I really vibe with, I'll make him like a series, as him, her, them a series as well. And so that's kind of what I've got going now. I've got three videos today, so I'm probably done recording for today unless I find a song reaction or song request that I really want to do. But for now, I'm gonna post these ones, listen to any criticism, take requests, get back to it tomorrow with any new requests, anything like that. Please leave comments because I love any support I can get and criticism, whether harsh or just kind of formal, informal, informational. I'll read them all. I'll try and respond to those that are responding. I'll look through every comment if I get any. But this is Vinjay Mumble Rapper and Lyricist. Solid 9.8 out of 10. I'll catch ya.